It's been 24 hours since I went through the procedure to get the Eversense 365 day implantable CGM placed just under the skin in my arm. Here's the receiver. It's now been 24 hours, which means the warm up period is complete. The next phase that I have to go through in this first kind of setup for this year long CGM is four blood sugar calibrations, two hours apart. On the second calibration, I'll start receiving data on my app. In the meantime, I still have the Libre 3 Plus in my arm so that I can get my blood sugar data that way until I know that this guy is working well. By the way, Essentia Diabetes Care, the makers of the Eversense implantable CGM, did not pay me to make this video. During that initial 24 hour warm up period, I didn't even have to have this on my body. I was just letting the implant do its thing. And that implant is like the size of a small pill, like a tiny Tylenol capsule. I have footage of the entire procedure and I'm gonna share it with you in this video. Now that the 24 hour warm up period is over, I've gotta put this on my arm. Eversense gives you a year's worth of their silicone based adhesives. The adhesives come in clear and white. So I just stuck the actual receiver to the sticky front part. And now I'm gonna try to remember the careful directions that awesome Eversense trainer gal taught me. So this is nice because silicone you can take on and off. Here's the little part that you gotta do, the placement guide. So right now it says no signal. So I'm gonna watch my arm and the phone and you can see it. Oh, excellent. Okay, excellent, right there. So that's where I put it. Excellent signal, done. Now it's asking for a calibration, which means it's asking me to check my blood sugar, enter a blood sugar number. This is the first of four. The next one is when my receiver will start getting blood sugar data and my graph will start having numbers on it. So after the first 24 hours, you do four calibrations, two hours apart, meaning you check your blood sugar four times. Then you do it once a day for the next week. Then you do it once a week for the next year. Fortunately, I have a really cool Lansing device. This is the Gentile. Shout out to the family that makes this product. I love this thing. I do not have to prick my fingers. I can use my palm, my shoulder, my thigh. It uses vacuum technology, so you don't have to prick as deeply. And then it doesn't even hurt. I got a drop of blood right on my palm. I'm a huge fan of this thing. I love sparing my fingertips. If you're curious about it, go to mygenteel.com. Okay, my blood is at 149. I'm gonna enter that into my Eversense app. All right, let's talk about the procedure itself now that I've entered that first calibration. The Essentia Diabetes Care Team made sure that I did not have to drive all the way to Boston to make this happen. They set up a mobile clinic about 90 minutes away from me and they had a few other people coming to get their implant procedure done too. You can see the profile, even though it's bigger than the Libre, the profile isn't that bad. It's pretty sleek. And obviously tomorrow I'm gonna remove this yucky bandage. So in this mobile clinic, they set up a very sterile environment. I was on basically a massage table lying on my side. Here's a rapid replay of the whole procedure.
The only part that hurt was the initial injection of numbing medicine. I think it was lidocaine. That completely numbed my arm. I did not feel a thing after that, which is pretty impressive considering how kind of aggressive they've got to be to make a space under your skin for this tiny capsule. If you are squeamish, you're not going to want to watch this. Danielle, the nurse that performed the procedure, was very carefully dealing with all of that sterile equipment, making sure that everything involved was as sterile as possible. They did tell me that for the first week after the procedure, to avoid any kind of heavy lifting because you just don't want to irritate this whole thing that's trying to heal right now. At the end of the procedure, they patched me up. I went and had lunch with my friend, no big deal. Today, my arm is not sore, I'm not in pain. If I touch it, like maybe it feels a little sensitive, but not really, like way less than I'd expect. And I did jump rope for a half an hour this morning, no problem, didn't even notice it. Common questions you might have? Yes, you can get an MRI. You would just remove the receiver part, but you'd still have the transmitter in your arm. Yes, you can go through airport security, no problem, just like all the other ones. Yes, you can wear it swimming. It's approved for up to three feet of water for 30 minutes, but it's so easy to take on and off that you could just take it off, put it on the side, and you know, check in later when you're done swimming. One part I'm really excited about is the on-body vibrations. So you can turn off the app completely and the receiver will still vibrate to let you know if you're crossing your high or low threshold. And apparently there's different vibrations for high versus low. I have not experienced those yet. Time will tell this week, later today, hopefully. I should experience a little bit of that. Shout out to my friend Paige. She had the 180 day ever since implant and then she recently just got the 365 day. She loves it, but she's given me a few tips. Like she told me about the sock method where she basically cuts the top and bottom off a sock and puts it on her arm to protect it when she's out in the sun or when she's exercising just to absorb sweat and keep it dry. And I gotta tell you right now, my Libre says my blood sugar is 171 and we know it's actually down in the 140s. I hope the Eversense proves to be a little more accurate than the Libre. It's time for my second Eversense calibration and I have a trusty assistant this time. Ninety-nine. Now I have to tell you, my Libre CGM still says my blood sugar is over 160 when this says I'm at 99. All right, so in about 15 minutes, this is gonna start giving me data. Okay, I just went for a run. This is still day one of the Eversense. Eversense says my blood sugar is 92. Libre 3 Plus says my blood sugar is 170 and it was just at 185. Now it's starting to correct itself. Let's see what a finger stick says my blood sugar actually is. One thirteen. All right, let's compare the data. One oh four with an up arrow, and now this is coming down to one thirty three. So I don't know. I'd say the Eversense is. More accurate so far. Good morning. Okay, last night was my first night sleeping while getting data from the Eversense. And last night, my 10 year old helped me change the site. We got permission from the clinician who did the procedure to like completely get rid of all that yucky, bloody stuff that was sitting there. So it looks much better now. I have to leave this bandage on for about five days to let the Steri strips work their magic on that little incision. But I have to tell you, it was so nice not to have any beeping. I turned all the alerts for my Libre off so it was still collecting data. And then I just let this do its thing where it just vibrates on my arm. Nothing beeped at me. It was so Nice. I mean, like, I can't even describe the joy that I am feeling that I don't have to have a device beep, beep, beep at me all the time now. 
I just finished my morning jump rope workout and this is a time of day that can be tricky for me because usually my blood sugar starts to rise according to the Libre. And then I take a tiny smidge of insulin to deal with that rise. And I'm rising because I fast and I exercise fasted. So my liver is putting out glucose. Right now, my Libre says my blood sugar is 166. Ever since says my blood sugar is 125. I just checked with my meter, 110. If I believed the Libre, I'd be taking a half unit of insulin right now that I don't need. Okay, I'm on day three or four of using the Eversense and it's time for two things. I just finished jumping rope and it's time for my daily calibration. So I finished the first four calibrations all in one day. Now it's just once a day for a week. One oh two. I'm gonna enter this into the calibration part of the app. Submit. Eversense says my blood sugar is 98. Glucose meter says 102 and 99 on the Libre. Everybody's matching up today. Pretty cool. One thing I need to get in the habit of doing is charging the receiver every day while I'm in the shower. It charges really quickly, like 10 minutes is plenty to get it to 100%. My battery in the receiver right now is at 63%. I can see that in the app. And in case I couldn't charge it this morning, or if I forgot. But keeping this in the bathroom or my bedroom somewhere will help me create that habit, I think. So this is really easy to peel off, even though it's not even attached to my skin yet. It's attached to a Tegaderm. So this is silicone, very easy to play with, and I'm just gonna pop the charger right in there and then plug it into the wall for 10 minutes. And I could change this. I've got a box of 365 new adhesives, but this one's still doing really well. So I'll just stick it right back on after I charge it. Now think about this. This only cost me a total of $300 for the next 365 days. 200 for the actual technology, 100 for the actual little procedure. That's it. Compare that to having to fill a prescription for Libre or Dexcom every three months, that was costing me hundreds of dollars. Okay, it's day five. I'm really excited because it means I get to take this Tegaderm thing off. And I'm gonna show you what the Steri strips look like. My skin, I'll tell you, has had enough of this Tegaderm patch. Okay, so there's the original incision from when they put the Eversense sensor into my arm. You can see it's tiny, it's right there. And those are five Steri strips that are gonna stay on. I'm not gonna take those off. And they actually look, you know, surprisingly, like really still on there, which is good. However, the back of this, the adhesive that keeps the Eversense on my skin, is sticky. So I don't want to stick this onto my Steri strips. Instead, I'm just going to put a band-aid over the Steri strips to protect them. And then I will put my Eversense on over the band-aid. Now, this was not advice given to me by Eversense. This is more patient friend advice, right? But I still want to protect those Steri strips. So to change this adhesive is really easy. I'm just peeling it off the transmitter. Here's my new adhesive. I'm gonna start with the side that has the sticker on it. Remove that. You can then put this behind here as like a little guide apparently. I'm not sure I need that, but they told you that you can do that. Now I have a nice new adhesive ready to go. Open up my placement guide. I think it's about right there. Nope. Oh, I got it. It's very specific, that placement guide. There you go. Okay, it's the end of my first week with the Eversense Implantable 365 day CGM. Here's what I know. The vibrations are awesome. Instead of beep, beep, beep in the middle of the night, I've now figured out that the high alarm vibration is like three 
short buzzes and the low alarm vibration is like five or six bigger buzzes. Like it's a big deal on your arm when you're going low and it's like not as big a deal on your arm when you're going high, which is helpful. I don't even have to look now at my phone. I can tell the difference between the low and high buzzes. Another thing about the buzzing and looking at your phone, the snooze alarm. I love the snooze alarm feature. I realized though that I had my snooze alarm for 30 minutes on lows, which is good, right? You wanna be back in range from a low within 30 minutes, then it doesn't bother you anymore. But with the highs, I realized 30 minutes is too short. So I use a Frezza inhaled insulin. I can correct most highs within one hour. So I changed the snooze alarm on my high alerts to 60 minutes. So it'll go off when I cross like 160, 165, and then I just tap it and it will set that snooze alarm for one hour. And if I'm not back in my target range, it will alert me again, but most likely I'll be back in range and I won't hear from it again, which is really nice, especially in the middle of the night. Here's the one thing I don't love about the Eversense, the app design, not the app functions, but just like the actual graph. There's so much space here in the middle this number is so far up, this is so far low. This number is so far up here and this, the graph, you know, like kind of the most important part is so far down on the screen. I wanna just kind of condense this and make it fit into a box like this. It doesn't need to fill top to bottom. It would be easier to like look at and absorb, especially the graph, if it was higher up and I could see around the graph. I don't know. So that's the one thing I would definitely fix. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. So the sound options, which, you know, mostly I'm not using at all because I'm keeping it on vibration mode. But when you do want a sound, the sound options are basically the same ringtones that you already have in your phone. So the only option on here that isn't a long ringing sound is the signal. And I do have that set for highs but like all the other options here are like really big and loud. You know what I mean? I would like there to be a couple other short little sounds that we could use for highs and lows. And there really, there really isn't. Most of all though, I'm just really grateful to have something that isn't gonna leave a constant hole in my arm. And you can see how this is healing. Uh-oh, I just peeled off my Steri strips. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I just peeled off my Steri strips. They stuck to the adhesive. So there's the little hole that they cut to get it in there. Pretty minor, like really tiny. I might need to go buy some new Steri strips now from the, from the pharmacy. I'm thrilled. I'm really excited to see, you know, after this heals, just how nice it'll be to not have the constant hole and changing it out every two weeks. Stay tuned. I will give you an update in maybe a couple months on how it's going with my implantable CGM, which look, you can't even see right now. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support.